Um, I'm Jane Furness and I'm a lay member of the Solicitors Regulation Authority Board. Um, I'm also their Senior Independent Director and chair the Equality, Diversity and Inclusion Committee. Um, I've been on the board for three years and really find it a fascinating role. Um, and what we're doing today is um, seeking to recruit new members for the Equality, Diversity and Inclusion Committee. Um, we want to recruit some external people um, and that's why we're running this campaign. Um, we're facing some pretty significant challenges in relation to equality and diversity. The SRA, like lots of regulators, is um, guilty of uh, disproportionality in the effects of its decisions. What that means is that if you're a black minority ethnic solicitor, you're much more likely to be on the receiving end of regulatory intervention for the same kind of behaviour as if you were a white person, you would be unlikely to be. Um, there's not any evidence of the staff at the SRA actually actively discriminating, but the effect of the decisions that people make is that um, people are discriminated against. And we're very keen to tackle this proactively. We've had a number of reports in the past which have um, evidenced this for us um, and not sufficient action has been taken. Um, and the committee chaired by me is really keen to make a visible difference over the next couple of years. And to do that, we need some external help. We've got some really good people in the organisation that are responsible for all this work. Um, but we're keen to get the expertise and experience of people um, who've done this sort of thing and been successful elsewhere. So there are two particular areas we want to focus on. One is that the SRA, as an employer of staff, um, surprisingly in many ways, particularly given um, our move a year or so to Birmingham, um, our staff group is not very diverse. It do really doesn't reflect the society um, we're here to serve. Um, we're good in relation to recruiting women but those women don't um, succeed in getting promoted to the top tiers of the organisation. And we're really pretty poor in recruiting people with other kinds of protected characteristics, i.e. black minority ethnic people, people with disabilities, uh, people who are prepared to be open about their sexuality. Uh, and this is, I presume, because of a lack of confidence about how they will be received if they do so. So we're really keen to recruit a much more diverse um, employer, employee group and to um, increase their confidence in, in working for this organisation. And secondly, we're keen to really tackle the um, effects of our uh, regulation, in specifically in relation to black and minority ethnic solicitors. That's where there's the evidence that we're not getting it right. Um, and this isn't easy. There's no easy solutions. If it was a case of a handful of staff discriminating um, in what they do, that would be relatively easy. You'd either sack them or you'd give them training and help them to do the job better. But it's much more subtle and therefore more complicated than that. So what I'm really keen to do is to recruit four people to the committee. I want at least one of them to be a lawyer and at least two to be people from a lay background. The fourth person, ideally, would also be a lawyer. Um, to join the committee that's, that comprises myself, a lawyer and a, um, lay, another lay person, male and female. Uh, and we're really keen that, that these are people who've got live experience of making changes in organisations. We don't need people who are good at writing policy or good at monitoring um, the effects of those policies. What we need is people who can help us with ideas to um, make a difference on the ground. Um, I, it's really not uh, very important where these people come from in terms of their experience as lawyers, i.e. large or small firms, um, rural or city uh, type of work they do. Um, it's just people who've done this kind of work in a law firm would be helpful. People who've got experience of challenging discrimination and uh, improving equality and uh, diversity. And similarly with lay people, um, 
the background, whether people come from the voluntary sector, the public sector, private sector, is not relevant. It's the fact that you've made a difference to your organisation, to the service you provide um, in relation to diversity. The, the organisation faces a challenge um, to really tackle this visibly and rapidly because our consumers and uh, the profession are impatient so that we haven't made enough progress. It's therefore quite an exciting time for um, people to join the committee. We've got a challenging agenda. Um, and the, the, the SRA plays a really important role in the system of justice and the rule of law in this country. Um, and if the SRA as a regulator is seen not to do that fairly and effectively, then that um, really impacts on people's confidence in the rule of law. So if you're interested in this at all, if you're interested in issues of justice and how the country runs its legal system, then this is the place for you to help us do it better.